Sounds like I've been on. <sighs> when you're ready. Amazing. Thank you, Andy. Morning, Sue. Morning. How are you? <laughs> Good, thank you. You've had a night for that big winter thing, Good. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> what do you feel like knowing you've been a semi-final of the cup against Manchester United? Well, it's obviously a really, really positive thing and pos um, a good moment for, for everyone connected to the club. My, my personal uh, feeling is that I, I uh, drew, drew a line under it for now last night and I'm um, very much focused on, on, um, on getting ready for the game on, on Saturday. So, um, yeah, it was obviously great last night and we're so pleased to be through. But my uh, focus and the team's focus is just on getting ready now for, for Premier League action. Just one more on last night. I think there's a rule in the Carabao that you can get written consent from the host club for a loan play in the Henderson's case mm. of the United. Do you think there's a chance for doing that? <coughs> well, I'm not sure about that, but if there, if there is, then obviously that it's something that we were looking to possibly of, of pursuing, but it's all um, it's all just talk, I guess, at the moment. You know, we uh, we haven't had a chance to, to breathe really since the game, and we'll pick that up as and when. I wonder if you were on the other side, if you were a manager with a lone player who's potentially mm. going to play against you, would, would you allow them to play? I've not really been in that situation, so I've not had to think about it, to be honest. <laughs> no worries. Looking at uh, Leicester this weekend, team news, how's Willie Bolly and any other? Yeah, well, obviously, you know, we... we um We've got an injury record that we're we're not particularly fond of at the moment, but um, and, and that may have been added to last night. Um, we haven't assessed the players yet because um, um, they're in a little bit later. So, so there's no news of of absolute um, guarantees of of player availability from from last night. So fingers crossed. <coughs> excuse me on a couple of things, and um, um, yeah, the last thing we want is is. You know more numbers on that on that list that we already have, but as I always say, you know next man up and uh, work with the players that are available and great game to look forward to. And I know we've spoken a lot about the <coughs> of the squad and the team over the last few weeks since the last game against mm. Leicester. Obviously, for another big mm. power, are you? Where do you think the squad is since that game? Especially, and are you happy with the development since then? Well, we have to have a mentality of always wanting to, to do more, always wanting to do improve. Um, I even said last night, that obviously it was great to get through, but I was equally thinking about how we could have played much better than what, what we did, and we need to play much better than, than what we did. So I, I just think it's a constant cycle of, um, of, of assessing what we're doing, uh, trying to improve. We've got a lot of work to do. I, I think there's no doubt that over the course of the season that we have taken some forward steps. But... Um, but we're not um, in a place where um, we don't think that we can get better. We do. We've got a, you know a lot of uh, improvement to make in so many aspects of, of our game. You know, which is a, a bit more of a challenge at the moment because of um, you know the injuries and obviously even in the transfer window and all that sort of stuff. But um, but you know we're really enjoying our work. We're jo enjoying taking it game by game and um, committing to a plan, sticking to a plan as well. And um, <clears throat> in the end, we'll, the proof will be in the pudding of where, we're, where we end up at the end of the season. So I don't think this is a time to assess a situation and go, are we happy with everything? Because we're in the middle of a season and um, um, we've got a, a lot of games to play. And uh, so we're on that cycle, as I said, of, of just sticking to the plan, reviewing games, preparing for the next one. And... Uh, as that's going on, hopefully picking up enough points. And in the last two games, we have this fixture four and last in the mm. cup, the City Grand four 0 the King Cup to Leicester. Mm. I mean, what, what is it about this fixture that gives so many goals? Well, <clears throat> maybe that's just a coincidence on the last two games, and it, there's a lot of differences between them two games. Obviously, where we were last year and and to this year, but uh, and this again will be completely different. Because you know there has been a bit of water gone under the bridge since since that. That was obviously a poor night, terrible night, um, a few months ago, um, and um, I wouldn't say we'd be talking about it too much going into into Saturday because we're only talking about ourselves. And like I said before, the Southampton game, you know, it's um, we've just got to focus on on how we play, how we you know sort of embrace challenges. Because that's the situation that we're in, you know. We 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 can't be thinking too too much about others, and we don't. Obviously, you look at an opponent naturally and and, and see what it takes to get the right plan to to go and play well against them. But um, we're still in that mindset of, you know, let's let's be, be looking at ourselves and um, 
and making sure that we get our own bits right. And if we do that, we give ourselves a chance of, um, when it comes to games, sort of um, winning. And that's what we want to do. I'm just asking from you, you mentioned the transfer window. Confident any incomings are close? Or do you think things are happening? I don't have conf- confidence is the right word. Hopeful. Um, I think it's clear that um, we want and need to, to add players. And... Uh, that thing in the back of my head is going now. Here we go. Not a forest signing loads of players, but uh, that's that's where we are at this current situation. And um, um, it's a, it's an easy thing for anybody to say now about how many players we sign in the summer. Signing again is two different uh, times, you know, and, and they shouldn't really be be compared. You know, we've, we've we've got an injury list. We have had a time to get a little bit used to Premier League football, and you have to treat a transfer window for what it is an opportunity to strengthen and, imp- and improve your squad and um, we'll be no different to, to anybody else. Thank you very much. Steve. Thank you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, it's, um, the cup can be a, a distraction, but as you get closer to Wembley, obviously it becomes more sensitive. But it's, it's an obvious question, but what, what can cup success do for, for the league season for us? Um, you're obviously not talking about Blackpool on the weekend. <laughs> um, well, I think last year... Um, I just think what we've tried to do over the last 12 months or so, we're a bit longer than that now, is is just try and build positivity around the club, you know, and, and belief and just good feelings. And, um, you know, as I said last night that, you know, our status, if you like, that's the right word in, in English football history, has been built on some, some really successful times, obviously back in the day. And um, we we represent that. You know, obviously, in, in a, hopefully in a modern way, and looking looking forward and trying to create new sort of memories. But um, you know, a lot of the the club's sort of success over the years has been about cups. You know, so um, you know, we, we we should respect that, and we do. In a short term way, I think that, like I said, we we had a. Um, some important cup ties here last year that just weren't great for getting through to the next round. Talking about the FA Cup games against what were Premier League. Obviously, we were a championship team and they were Premier League at the time. But it wasn't just about getting through to the next round. It was just about the atmosphere in the stadium. It was about bringing everybody together. It was about um, young supporters having a real excitement of coming and watching their, their team. And, and I just think that just builds relationships in the club and they feel part of something and and it, and if it's exactly the same for the players and, and myself and the staff as well so so a cup competition um and a run in a competition can go a lot further than actually sort of just staying in the football cup for what it is and, and getting as far as you can i think it can build a lot of other things outside of it and uh i guess that's what we we try to do as much as obviously like i said staying in the tournament just a word about Leicester. Um, <laughs> highly experienced manager. <coughs> yeah. Spell injuries themselves. Mm. What are your observations about them? Well, you're, you're right. It's got, got a lot of. Re- re- I know we're obviously we're local rivals now, but uh, do have a lot of respect for for Brendan and and um, what he is as a, as a, as a guy and and a, and a manager and the success that that, that he's had. Um, and um, and you know. I look, you look at the recent Leicester games, and uh, they created a lot of really good chances. You know, so um, so a very dangerous team. Um, have some really um, dangerous attacking players, and, um, and that we all know. You know, and players that have done it sort of year in year out on in the on the Premier League stage, and um, we have to be very wary wary of that. Um, you know, technical team and um, play good football. But we've got to really think, like I said to um, earlier in the question, we've just got to really think about how we approach the game, how we play, what we do in the game to have you know, a positive impact. And um, if we don't get that stuff right, then we won't be at our best. And you know, we saw the second half of um, um, Chelsea, we saw the Southampton performance in different ways. Even moments last night against um, Wolves, although there was some things that we need to look at and go, this is not what you do, as well. So, um, and I'm, you know, keen to, to speak to the players today about that. But, um, but yeah, you know, it's um, it's a, as all these Premier League games are, it's going to be a tough game, and um, um, but it's a game that we will look forward to, 
Uh, and we know Leicester have got had a day's extra rest than us, but we won't let that bother us and certainly won't make a, an excuse. Um, we look forward to, to three o'clock and, um, and committing to, to what it takes to win. Cheers. Cheers. Good morning, Steve. Um, just a, <laughs> sorry. I looked, I looked at you and you spoke. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a few follow-ups from me. I know, of course, you said you, you drew a line in the last night's result sort of performance, but I just wanted to get your uh, yeah, 12 or so hours on your, your final reflections on the um, twelve. Yeah, not much sleep, if I'm being honest. The laptop was on last night and uh, um, watching games. But um, yeah, no, like yeah, like, like what I said last night. What, what I say said now is like just really good to get through. And uh, and you know, them things about thirty odd years. Of, you know, last time in the semi final. And as I said about you know y- younger fans and. <coughs> Um, well, not even that young, you know, supporters experiencing it for the first time. It's always important to me, things like that. So all them things are good. Um, uh, I want us to play better going forward, there's no doubt about that. And it's my job to, to look at the game analytically and step away from the context and the emotion of a game and look, look at it for, a, for what it was as a performance. And like I said, some good things in the game, but not enough. And we, we need to do better. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just in that that sort of um, cycle of putting one game to rest and getting ready for the next one and um, I mean it's, it's a great week you know um, quarter final and the lights then a local game you know Saturday three o'clock in the Premier League so great great week great working week and uh, and um, see how I didn't mention last Saturday then in part of the week and then um, you know um, making sure that we give everything we've got to try and um, Get the best out of it, uh, each game. And, and then, of course, looking ahead to uh, to Leicester. I know you're not uh, not one for form in the slightest going into it, but with it being an East London derby, does it does form completely go out the window? You know, it's just you know, two teams going at it. Like, on day, so. Yeah, um, yeah. I think yeah. It's, it's certainly not. You know, it's no guarantees with you know the, the, uh, so many times you can think that you go into a game and an opposition has this going for them or going against them and you play the game and it's the, the complete opposite and um, and even for ourselves there's been some games we've gone into and thinking okay maybe we're a bit under strength because of injuries and, and actually we, we go and perform really well and then you go into a game full of confidence thinking yeah this is going to work and, and it doesn't so um, but that's just the game of football you know there's always an opponent with a plan as well and um, and for sure Leicester will, will have one so um, no, I think it's just like I said, just about thinking internally. You know, staying in our own sort of not in a forest bubble, doing what what we think is right to to prepare for the game, and hopefully, you know, committing and really believing in the plan to to go and go and win the game, and um, that's just where we're at really. No, you say you won't focus on it too much, but of course, reverse fixture was was four 0 and hindsight's a wonderful thing. But was that a bit of a turning point for for this season? Well, I don't. I don't think um, anything's been turned round um, because of. Um, I know at this current moment you look at the league table and it looks better than than what it, what it was before the last league game. But it's it can change again quickly, better or worse. We know that. So um, no, nothing's been turned round. We are very much um, building, working every day to try and become who we want to be. Hopefully, we get there quicker than, than not and um, um, and even when we feel like we are getting there there'll be a next step so it's you know that's that's just how we work and um, so no I don't really look at it like that I just look at I always look forward uh, always look at what we want to do and how, how we can achieve things and um, we're just thinking about you know the, the, the game of football against Leicester and how we can uh, do our best to, to go and win it. Just fine for me, like I said, a cup game under the lights last night, straight into an East Midlands derby this weekend, promises to be another cracking answer. Yeah, well, that, yeah, it will be for sure, you know, and uh, I can't remember the last time we played on a Saturday, well, it was probably Crystal Palace, was it, three o'clock, but uh, at home, mm. so it wasn't that many games ago, but uh, um, yeah, no, yeah, we, we really like playing at the city ground, of course, and I think um, supporters are, are coming to the stadium and, and really... Um, you know, committing to making the atmosphere to, to, to what it is. And, you know, I, I'll only repeat probably every home game. We won't take it for granted. We, we, we're not in, in, entitled by it. We have got to do our bit on the on the pitch to, to match what the supporters are giving us. And um, like I said, that's that's where my focus is. A little bit because of last night's p- 
performance. I know the result was good and we had there were some good moments in the game, but um, I really want to make sure that um, the team is, is, is right at the level on, on the weekend because we know if we do that, great atmosphere to play in and it becomes difficult, difficult for the opponent. So um, let's, let's work hard in trying to recreate that once again. Thank you. Steve, just a quick one. How, how important do you sense this game is to the supporters? Well, yeah, it's, it, it will be, won't it? Because it's um, it's a local game and um, all of the normal sort of things you talk about around a local game will be apparent for, for, for it on Saturday. And um, and we will be very mindful of, of, of that and we want to represent that as best we can, stand up for it. And, um, yeah, we, we, we'll be doing that. So... Um, but I, I, but I also say we, we've also got to think about um, what it takes to, you know, to get success in the game, and, and that's what we're in control of. So our, our focus going into the game is using the local rivalry and the importance to the fans as motivation. But our, our real focus has got to be on on what we're in control of, and that's um, and that's sort of playing well. So whether it's an individual, a unit on the pitch, a certain part of the, the plan, you know, that's really where our focus needs to be because. If you focus on that, then you, you you get what you want. If you don't, and flip it around, then you know it can it can be counterproductive. So, um, yeah, we we need to we need to um, really really hone in now on 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 the game plan and and believing that we can carry it out well. I know five minutes before kick off is probably when you're most in the zone about <coughs> the game. Promises this to probably be a real special moment just before kick off. It'd be a really good Mullock and tie in. Who knows what for Garibaldi you've got planned mm. in Trent and that sort of stuff. You never give yourself the moment to. To, take it, as well. to be honest, it always is special before a game. You know, you see last night and um, um, Chelsea. You know, I, I, yeah, it's uh, in what we have in, in the moments leading to kick off is um, a r- routine of of a city coming together and a bit of belonging. And I think that's that moment where you know the, when Muller and Ty comes on and the people actually stand together and go, "Yep, this is our club. This is who we are." And um, and everyone's very proud at that moment, and then um, the game starts, and everyone goes to work, you know, both on and off the pitch. And we're lucky that we're part of a club that has that, you know, because not everybody does, but we do. And um, yeah, so whether it's a local game against Leicester or any other game, um, it'll always be special to me, and um, and I know it'll be special to everybody else as well. And um, um, hopefully after that, then we go and win the game. But. Uh, but no, that won't change regardless of the game. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Thank you. Jonathan. Hi, Steve. The FA are reviewing the football in the match last night. I was wondering if you had a chance yet to sort of uh, assess what no. why it was going on. No, sorry, sorry, I haven't, to be honest. And I'm not, I'm not sitting on the fence too much. But um, um, I, just, I just haven't. You know, it's been a quick turnaround, 12 hours or something, whatever was mentioned. And uh, um, it's been more focused on the, on the Leicester game. Um, to be fair, everything was calm in the tunnel after, and um, I actually know some of the Wolves staff, and uh, and we spoke about the game and and, and wherever. So um, so there was certainly nothing that went on um, after whatever went on in the pitch. So um, yeah, I apologise maybe for not giving you something, but uh, I don't want to say something because I'm not sure um, uh, aware of what happened. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and the lads have been out injured, or um, um, uh, won't be available for the weekend. Thanks, Jonathan. Could we have cameras off, and we'll move to the written section embargoed for ten thirty.